Mass and weight are not the same. What is mass? Mass is a measure of the amount of matter or stuff in an object. The symbol for mass is m. What is the unit for mass? Like time is measured in hours, distance d is measured in meters, mass m is measured in kilogram. One kilogram is thousand gram. Kilo means one thousand. If you want to know about what one kilogram is, just take one liter of water. And the mass of one liter of water is one kilogram. You are most familiar with pounds. So one pound is equal to about 0 0.45 kilogram. So if you have, for instance, 10 pounds divided by 2, that gives you 5 pounds, then deduct it by 10%, that gives you 4.5 kilograms. I have a present for you, 50 kilograms of gold. That's all yours that has a mass of 50 kilogram. But you have to tell me what is the weight of this massive 50 kilogram. First, you have to know what is weight. And please, this you have to memorize. Weight is a force pulling the mass of an object because of gravity. Weight is a force pulling the mass of an object because of gravity. Now lift this piece of gold up and hold it in front of you. You notice that there is a strong force that pulls it down to earth. And this force is called the weight. And the weight, the, the, the weight is equal to the mass of the object multiplied by the acceleration of gravity g. g on earth is 9.8 meters per second squared. Now let's look back at your uh, piece of gold there and let's calculate what its weight is. You know that the mass is 50 kilogram. You know that the acceleration of gravity on Earth is 9.81 meter per second squared. So this is now very simple. You just calculate 50 multiplied by 9.81 is equal 490.5. And the units you would use here is kilogram, that is from mass, and meter per second square, which is the unit for acceleration of gravity. So we have your 50 kilogram of gold has a weight on Earth of 490.5 kilogram meter per second squared. You can imagine that it is always very inconvenient to say the weight of an object is 490.5 kilogram meter per second squared. And to make it shorter, there is a unit for weight defined that is called the Newton, and that is abbreviated with an N. But Please always remember that a Newton with an N is short for Q.
kilogram meter per second squared. Now how should an instrument look like that measures weight? It has to measure the force of how the mass is pulled down. And there's a very nice instrument for it that is called the spring scale. And what you do is you hook the object on the spring scale and measure the force that is pulling it down. And here you have the spring and the more weight the object has, the stronger the force is pulling it down, the more the spring expands. And here you have a scale from which you can then read the weight of the object. You know now enough to answer uh, several questions. For instance, how can you calculate the mass if you know the weight? And another question you could ask is, what is your weight on Earth? And what is your weight on the moon? And we give that here for an example with the mass equals 50 kilogram. And then you can do the calculation easily. Which instrument can you use to measure mass? The best instrument I can think of is the balance scale. And here you have see a picture of a balance scale. And I just want to describe to you how you would measure a small piece of gold, which you place on the right scale. On the left scale, you place masses of, let's say, one gram. And you place as many of those little masses of one gram on the left-hand scale until they both are in balance. And the both scales are in balance. And if that is the case, then you say the grams you have put on the left scale are the same gram, number of grams that are on the right scale. But physically, what is happening is there is a force on both scales. And the scale, the force on the left, we call F1. And the force on the right scale, we call F2. And when, if these two forces are equal, then the scale is in balance. And you know that force 1 is m mass m1 multiplied by g. And f2 is equal to mass 2 multiplied by g. And g on Earth, wherever you are, is about 9.81 meter per square second. Now, if you look then at F1 equals F2, you have M1 multiplied by G equals M2 multiplied by G. And you can divide both sides by G so that M1 equals M2. So the G cancels out. and. Now, if you take this scale uh, and, the, uh, and the object which you want to measure plus the measuring masses uh, on the moon, you would get exactly the same masses in equilibrium. So you have learned mass and weight are not the same. When you talk about mass, you say kilogram or pounds. When you say weight, you should say newton or kilogram meter per second squared. However, this is 
the language of physicists and chemists. If you talk to your doctor, he will not ask you what is your mass, but he will say, hop on the scale and let us calculate your weight in pounds or kilogram. But you know now, in science, for, from a science standpoint, this is incorrect. To learn more about mass and weight, please look at these information on the internet, especially the very entertaining songs, the mass versus weight song, Edmonds rocks to an oldie.